Todo bien. Todo bien. Vámonos a la playa. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Also, welcome to Paris. For those of you who know me, welcome back. For those of you who don't, I'm Pia, and I'm your host for all things luxury. On today's vlog, we are back in Paris for press days. We're mainly having a look already at what's coming out for Christmas. Earlier this morning, you will have seen me visiting another one of Chef Guy Martin's restaurants here in Paris. This one's in the 7e arrondissement, and we were having a taste of what's coming up for Christmas. It has a delicious combination of white chocolate. There's also black chocolate or kind of like half sea black chocolate. There's a very creamy interior. It's called the Bouche de Noël and it's a typical French dessert just for Christmas time. There was also a really, really delicious interior with Fruits de la Passion. Oh my goodness, that was exquisite. I loved it because it was similar as what we tasted last week in Le Grand Vefour, so one of his other restaurants here in Paris. So in the other one, we had chocolate on one side and fruits were on another part. So it's two different desserts. On this one, he's married both of those states in just one. And you can really feel the Christmassy side of it. There's a little bit of freshness with the Fruit de la Passion. And something really nice to let you know about it is that if you are in France at the time, you can get it to go. So you can pre-order it. I think it's like from mid-November-ish. You are able to pre-order it and then um, go ahead and do a pickup and take it to have as a dessert if you're spending Christmas in here. I'm actually re-hosting Christmas with my husband this year. So places like this come in really handy for us because we cook everything for like three days, three, four meals a day. And then each meal will have like certain courses. So dessert pre-made is fantastic. And when you can have it from a restaurant with a three Michelin star chef, it's top of the game. So that's perfect. That was wonderful news. I will leave you the restaurant's name and address linked in here in case you're interested in that. And then I headed to actually the 18th, where we went to have a look at the pre-collection coming out, Valérie Lafayette and everything they're going to be doing for Christmas. Now, on this occasion, they shared a couple of products that will be having an exclusivity. So there's, for example, a beautiful highlighter palette by Laura Mercier that will be sold in exclusivity in France at the Galerie Lafayette. There's a gorgeous collection of a little bit more affordable but still really fashionable pieces from their own eponymous collection. And they are bringing back, as every year, their cashmere collection, which is actually a little bit more on the affordable end of things, but it's still really nice. I do have a sweater from there and they last very well. <laughs> there will also be a pop-up by The Beers. They are the kings of diamonds here in France. I had a look at the beautiful Enchanted Lotus collection, which is a collection I absolutely adore from the beers. I'm actually having a thought about changing my everyday little ones in here for something from that collection, but that's a whole other story. The whole theme of Galerie Lafayette this year is something that's been designed in co-creation with designer Charles de Villemorin. And what he's created is kind of like a doll that has a dream. And then in that dream, she paints and creates all of these different universes. We also had a look at what one of the most important window displays will be. That will be the table that you had a look at. So you saw it here first. And then something else that I loved discovering, besides the food, obviously, because we all know I'm always in for the food, was the latest release, which will be also sold in exclusivity at Galerie Lafayette by Clinique. And what they've done is they've created this beautiful red lipstick that doubles also as a blush. The makeup artist I was having my makeup done by was actually letting me know that you can also use it on your eyelid as well. So that just creates a beautiful harmony. This is what it turned out like. So now you're seeing it in the natural light. The rest of my makeup is just my own makeup. I'm wearing foundation by Hermes in the color Chambre. Some Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood something highlight. I absolutely love what it looks like. She also applied the tiniest bit on my nose. So it looks like I've been hit by a flush of sun, which I'm absolutely loving. Lipstick for today is by Chanel. I'm using the shade 174. This is called Destination. Now I'm going to have to let you go because I need to go host a live. We're going to go 
luxury shopping as per usual here in Paris. I'm going to go do some pickups for some other clients. Before I let you go, I might as well just show you what they gave us in the goodie bag of Galerie Lafayette. I haven't even picked inside of it. You're going to discover that with me. Let's have a look. Ooh. First off, chocolate. The special edition they've co-created with Raoul de Villemorin. It's got all of the design of that universe that they're bringing into window displays. I'm dying to try this. Eau de Parfum by Memo Paris. White mask, orange blossom, Souveros Absolute. Oh my goodness, this is exquisite. Okay, let's add a little bit to go with the perfume I'm already wearing today. I'm wearing Eau de Pamplemousse Rose by Hermès. Let's hope this mixes up well. <laughs> They've included the Mario Badescu Skincare Drying Lotion. This is a product that I used to love when I had pimples. If you haven't seen my How I Got Rid of Acne journey, I will leave that video link here for you. The bottom part is kind of like a sandy product. And then on the top, you get that wetness in it. You release your Q-tip, you put that over a pimple. And when you wake up the next morning, it will be dried. Depending on the severity of the pimple, it takes one or two days of using it. It is really effective. Effective. Iconic Le Roi René Calissons, which are just like little bonbons. And finally, this is a candle, I'm guessing. I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. Looks like packaging for one. <gasps> Love that packaging. This is so lovely. I don't know if you can buy this ones in store, but if you can, it does smell exquisite. This is what it looks like. This can make for a really nice brush holder after. It's very fresh. Love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much to the Style Muse team for having me collaborate on this ER visit, also to the Galerie Lafayette and obviously all the brands that I just mentioned. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this TikTok. Today we are here with Nolita Hi. and she is going to answer seven of her questions for Style Muse. Can you tell me what a constant source of inspiration is for you? Paris, obviously, and Ibiza. Yes, I saw the little boot yes. on the necklace, loved it. Mm -hmm. I was also expecting a hat. <laughs> a baby for number two. Yes, a baby for the number two. <laughs> What's your preferred material in jewelry? Gold. Can we have a final hint on your next project? Wow, like a secret. Love it. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Cool. Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? I've just finished pampering myself up a little bit, did a little bit of skincare, did some makeup. I'm using this new lipstick I'm loving. It's by Tom Ford. It was one of the presents that they gave us at Le VHV. That is what it looks like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Today is a day for shopping for clients. Dior, Fendi. I'm a little, a little short to show you because I got the most gorgeous Lumenti heels from Dior. So I really want to share those with you. But I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the Nolita for Histoire d'Or collaboration. It's the first time they ever collaborate. She's quite a big influencer here in France. And Histoire d'Or is a very affordable body in good precious material brand here in France as well. Apparently they allowed her full creativity for it. We saw quite a bit of details that represented Nolita herself. Pieces in velvet. It's the first time Histoire d'Or actually incorporates velvet into their products. We also saw quite a bit of use of silver. There was a little bit of use of gold. There was coal as well or charbon because I don't know what it's called in English. There was also quite a bit of her own essence brought into the collection. So there was the Santiago, which is the Texan boot. It's something that she uses a lot or cowboy boots, whatever you want to call them. Layering necklaces, body chains, quite a bit of layering rings. If we had to describe the collection in two words, it would be eclectic layering. Basically something that's very intrinsic to herself and to her own personal style. So I think it was very on point. Now let's have a little look at what she gifted us. We're going to visit a little new collection. 
this is the heart it's one of those layering necklaces i was telling you about there were a couple of necklaces that had the heart i think it's such a cute interpretation of the life tree i don't know in any case that's what i see when i look at this one really really cute thank you so much to the stallions and bardor and nolita herself for this lovely gift something else i wanted to tell you about was the melville the melville or le melville how they call it here is a new restaurant i was very kindly invited by their customer owners to go celebrate their first year anniversary yesterday here in paris it was a beautiful soirée le melville is a restaurant slash cocktail bar slash just bar which has the most intimate sort of transport yourself back in time atmosphere with a modern twist if that still makes sense they have a delicious eponymous cocktail made by their master bar man or bar woman who's actually called Mila that cocktail was absolutely delicious there was lychee in it there was a little bit of Saint Germain liquor which is something I really appreciate since moving to France the cocktail proposal marries wonderfully with the food proposal which is prepared by chef Malcolm Ecolas. He is gifted in the area of fusion cuisine. There's a little bit of a Latin touch with some touches from Asia and also a spice from Tunisia, which was absolutely delicious. We had some really nice tastings of the type of different ceviches that he normally prepares. We were doing that while listening to some beautiful jasmines on the background. The soiree was so much fun. There was a special guest, Cadmerade. For those of you that don't know him, he's a pretty well-known actor here in France. And from time to time, he feels like singing. He'll do that for charity events once a year here in France, things like that. And then yesterday he was doing it just for fun. We had the loveliest time with his reinterpretations and some of the classics by Frank Sinatra, but also to touch the French souls. There was also a little bit of Johnny Holiday, etc. So we had the loveliest time. I look really forward to going again and testing what the ambience is like when it's just the jazz bands playing. This place truly reunited three of my main passions, which are music, food, and exquisite ambience. I hope you enjoyed watching all of these new releases, particularly everything related to Christmas, but I feel like there's nothing better that put us in the festive mood than a jazz bar, although I'm such a big fan of of just music that I think it's the perfect spot for all year round. If you are in Paris, I highly, highly recommend you pay a visit to the Melville. I want to thank you all so much for having watched. And if you're not done watching, I will leave you two more in here so you can binge a little bit more. See you on the next one. Bye!